All right, the first thing you wanna do is you want to upload your Adidas logo. I already have mine populated in the folder. Um, all you have to do is go to google.com. Um, then you type in Adidas logo PNG and it should give you the proper graphic format to do this tutorial. So once we have the logo set aside, we want to then duplicate this logo three times. So we're going to do this. We're going to do the logo, duplicate it one, two, three. So now that gives us four. All we really need is three. I'm just going to turn one off just for safekeeping. So now we have these three logos. Next thing we want to do is want to alpha lock it. We can alpha lock it in two ways. You can use two fingers, slide to the left, no alpha lock, or you can tap on the dialog and it'll give you alpha lock. That's another option. So I'm just gonna alpha lock all three. So now we have one, two, three, alpha lock. Then we're gonna change the colors of each of these logos. So we're gonna use three colors, cyan, yellow, and magenta. So the first color we're gonna go ahead and change is cyan. So since this one's alpha lock, I'm actually gonna cut these two off. I'm gonna start with this one. We're gonna go to our brush, our uh, soft brush here, and then our cyan's already selected. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly change that color. So now, boom, we have that cyan colorway. Now I can turn this off, turn this next one on, then we're gonna go to magenta. Soft brush, make sure we're on the second layer. Change that to magenta. Cool. Now turn that layer off, turn this one on, and our last one is yellow. And I will have the color code for all three of those colors on the side so you guys can make sure you have the proper colors. Now that's yellow. Cool. So now we have three colors, yellow, magenta, and cyan. Um, so the next thing we wanna do it's changed the blend modes of all three of these colors. So we're gonna change it from normal to multiply. So I'm gonna turn all three of them on. I'm gonna select the blend mode. And as you can see, as I'm changing it through the blend modes, it's already changing colors. So we're gonna go multiply for yellow. Then we're gonna go to multiply for magenta and watch how it automatically turns black. See, you have yellow, magenta, and cyan are already selected. Now these layers are on, they're just on top of one another. So that's the trick. Like these three colors are the three main colors are, that are used to print. So if you think about when you buy print uh, ink cartridges for your printer, these are the three colors that you're using to print things. So we're gonna take our yellow and just slide it. So pay attention and watch the color. So even though I slid the yellow to the right, you can still see blue. And we never use blue, we use cyan. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna shift the cyan over and see what it gives us. All right, so now you're starting to see multiple colors. So now I can see about, uh, I'd say four or five colors. You can see a little bit of greens, dark blues, um, reds. Like these are colors that weren't initially in our three selected colors. It just happened to work out that way because of the multiply blend effect and these three print colors. Cool, so now we have our glitch so this is the simple way to make a glitch you know you don't have to do anything extra you don't have to you know add any type of effect or anything so procreate does have a glitch effect but this is more of of a just a transform glitch but of course we can make it feel more like a you know a design glitch so what we're going to do here we're going to take all three again and we're going to close this group and then we're gonna duplicate it. So if you wanna group it, you can, you don't have to, but I like to group my layers just to make sure I have everything in one place. So I have this, always have a backup for anything that goes wrong. So then we're gonna take this right here and we're going to flatten it. So what flatten does, it's gonna take all the layers in that group and just make it into one thing. So now we have one, one layer. 
which is a pretty cool Adidas glitch logo. So now we're gonna duplicate this. Cool. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can kind of see our effects. Now, if it gets, it gets kind of trippy, you can always go back to, like I said, you always have a safekeeping folder where you can go and readjust where how far you pull the logo out so it doesn't it, it doesn't become too overwhelming so but I think this is this is fine I'm just gonna use this for right now so I'm gonna turn that off turn this one back on and now um, we're gonna go to our adjustments we're gonna go to our half tones and we're going to do a color half tone so we're gonna pull it to the right and you'll start to see, it may be too subtle, but you'll start to see this subtle uh, bubble effect. And that's part of our, our glitch. So we're gonna pull this half tone to about 20. I think that's good enough. We don't wanna go too far, we don't wanna go too, too high, then it gets really you know trippy and we don't wanna do that. So cool, after we've done our half tone, we then want to go to liquify and we're going to use our push property. So your pressure should be at least 90, your distortion, I'll say 15. And most of these numbers are arbitrary. I don't set them. I just kind of go with the flow and let's make our size 20, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're just going to start playing with this push effect. We're going to start pushing this out. Pushing it out, pushing it in. Kind of giving this cool little glitch pattern. And you want to find like the bigger parts of the design. So you don't want to really play with this too much. It'll kind of like distort the image. So you want to push and pull like the bigger ends of the design, like the, the one with the most surface area. If you even wanna go into, go in here a little bit, play with like the S and the A in the middle, here and there. All right, so now you kinda have this cool little glitch logo, you know? Not too hard, you know, just kind of playing with the properties, understanding what the blend modes do. So whenever you are trying to manipulate any design or any drawing, you know what blend mode to go to. All right, so then we're gonna go to our second layer right here. Then we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur. And then we're just gonna kind of make sure I selected. We're gonna slide this over. We're just gonna slide this over right here and it should be so it shouldn't be too much you know just a tad bit so we can just say let's go five okay. five yeah so you had your two layers you have your Gaussian blur you have your push and pull effect and yeah, that's how you make your Adidas glitch effect logo. Um, let me know if this was a complicated tutorial so I can find a better way to simplify it for people who may be struggling with the steps. Um, I learn different techniques all the time, so I wanna make sure I am translating what I know to help you all explore the land of design and procreate. Um, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, push it through the algorithm, can help people see these videos to kind of inspire them moving forward if you have not subscribed already just please it's easy just hit the button i'm not going to beg y'all for subscriptions but at the same time we want the channel to grow we want to prosper and if you're learning a lot why not stay in tune with something that's benefiting you um, also if you have any comments that you like to leave um, any techniques or tips that you may know feel free to leave them down there if things you want to learn i can probably try to figure it out well i probably already know it and I can share those videos with you. So I appreciate you all for sticking with me. Um, I'll have another video up in a couple of days. Stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.